So I'm here between the drinks and dinner or whatever it is that you have. So I'm going to try to keep it exciting for you to stay here next 25 minutes. So first of all, I want to thank all of you for being here and uh, sticking around for this session. And a special thank to uh, th uh, 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 Auto Mobility for having us here, LA, um, to tell us a little bit what we do uh, with Alexa. Uh, Alexa is four years old. Uh, when we started Alexa uh, a few years back, we wanted Alexa to be uh, something that we really value at Amazon. We wanted to have the attributes of being thoughtful, being smart, um, but also being super fun. Um, in four years, uh, Alexa grew and has been accepted uh, by a lot of you, a lot of our customers in their lives, and we're very happy about it. And we are very excited about how much she has learned and how much she has added to uh, all of our lives. Um, Alexa is fun. Uh, just in last year, she uh, told over 100 uh, million jokes, and uh, she uh, sang so many happy birthdays. How many of you had a happy birthday song by Alexa? There's a few. That's, that's great. Yeah, I love that. My kids play that all the time. And it's not a birthday, but they play happy birthday because they love to hear Alexa play happy birthday. A um, few months a few months back, um, we announced a lot of additional Echo Family devices uh, uh, with, uh, enabled with Alexa. Uh, we innovate on behalf of our customers, uh, and we listen to our customers. Our customers tell us we love the Echo devices, we love the Alexa, but we'd like to have more of these in our life. We would like to have one of the feedback was, you know, I have a couple of these Alexa devices. The sound is OK. I'd like to have a subwoofer in my living room. And that was a great idea. Why, why not have a subwoofer with Alexa? Now you get a real good you know, whole uh, home entertainment environment. So we announced the subwoofer, and now we have Alexa subwoofer. Uh, with the uh, addition of our devices, we also have uh, hundreds of partners out there. They're building Alexa into their electronics, into a their devices. And we want to have Alexa present whatever you feel you want to have Alexa with you. And we'll talk a little bit about mobility. But um, and, and how we think about the mobility. Uh, uh, and if we focus on how we listen to a customer, uh, as we are you know, a really customer-obsessed company at Amazon, um, we look for uh, good feedback, but we also look for feedback that's not so good so we can improve. Uh, on the good feedback we have received since Alexa has come out, over 100,000 five-star rating. And half of those ratings have, I love Alexa. Uh, inside of them. So we're very happy about it. Alexa has been also proposed to uh, a few hundred thousand times. Alexa, would you marry me? Um, and so that's sort of interesting and exciting for us as well. Um, we make super easy for uh, developers around the world to take the Alexa SDK and embed that Alexa into their uh, electronics. Uh, and so we can turn uh, those devices into Alexa-enabled devices. But we also created a, uh, a platform, a development platform, for developers to essentially build the skills or services or applications. So we have over 50,000 skills that are available out there. Some of my favorite skills for on the go, uh, on the mobility is XSM skill, a Starbucks skill, where I just sort of order my coffee and so forth. But there's so many uh, different uh, uh, skills and applications that developers have uh, built uh, in over 190 countries. Uh, Alexa has become more personal. My personal, I have a nephew's birthday coming up a few days ago. Uh, my brother told me it's his birthday, and I forgot about it. And I said, okay, Alexa, remind me, you know, my nephew has a birthday in 28. And she did that reminder. So there's a lot of work that we do to, um, to, be, um, to, to, to essentially make Alexa more, more uh, personable. I talked about the fun. She tells the jokes. My, my kids love the, you know, fart joke. I don't know why, but it's sort of fun for them. Um, uh, we also recently um, announced this uh, uh, whisper mode in Alexa. And uh, it's kind of spooky when you hear it for the first time. You say, 
you know, kids are sleeping, say, Alexa, play lullabies. And Alexa, okay, I'm going to play lullabies. And, and then plays. Uh, but Alexa is more conscientious. And so she's smarter that way. She's more contextual as well. Uh, she's more conversational. If you do turn the follow-up mode in Alexa, you can say, Alexa, you know, Seattle and it's overcast. You want to go somewhere where it's sunny. And you go, you know, uh, Alexa, what's the weather in LA? And say, well, it's a 65, it's super sunny. And you say, Alexa, book hotel um, there. And Alexa knows that, right? That you talked about LA and that will, she will uh, give you some options uh, for hotels in LA. So, uh, one thing that's uh, pet peeve for most of you, most of us that do anything with the conference rooms, is those meetings never go well when you have a conference room. If you have a camera or you have some sort of AV system and you have a dialing system and you try to connect and figure out how it works, it takes forever. Uh, Ten minutes after you somehow connected in a, a, a conference call. Um, what we have done with Alexa, we took Alexa to business and we created a, a, a conference room solution where you can say, just say, Alexa, start my meeting. And Alexa does that. She just starts the meeting. Uh, a few weeks back, I was in a room with a bunch of people, and I said, Alexa, start my meeting. And Alexa says, it's not on a calendar. I'm not going to start a meeting. I said, hmm, what happens? I'm having a conversation with somebody else. Why is it not on a calendar? What have you? Third person started reciting the number. And Alexa ignored completely everything that we talked about, and she picked up on the third person that was giving the access number for conference room, and all of a sudden she said, you know, your room, uh, your conference room just started. And that was a really delightful experience, even for me. I've, I've, you know, I work day in, day out on Alexa, but that was really delightful for me to see how smart she's got to recognize those kind of things. We also put Alexa in hotels. There's a lot of hotels right now that have Alexa inside. Uh, that you can sort of order service, play music, and all those sort of things. So uh, that's pretty exciting for us. But we're here to talk about on the go and the mobility. And what is it that we're doing with Alexa on the go? My day today started at home. I wasn't in a car before I was sort of thinking what I'm going to get. So the way we think about uh, uh, mobility is I want to get to point from point A to point B, and I'm going to do some things you know, in, in this span of time while I'm driving to my destination or I'm commuting to destination. So my commute started at home uh, in the morning when I said, Alexa, start my day, gave me the weather, told me the news, uh, and it says, by the way, this is what's happening on your calendar, and this is the traffic to your destination. You expect to drive about, the, to take about an uh, hour and 20 minutes to get to LA. And so just before I left, I said, Alexa, What's the traffic on five? I came from Orange County, and uh, you know, it gave me the traffic, so it gave me sort of good understanding where I need to be. And when I got in the car, I said, Alexa, take me to um, Staples Center. And uh, it automatically popped up uh, direction to a Staples Center location. That was it. And along the way, I had a few calls. I called my mom. Um, uh, you know, I did a few business calls, you know, Alexa called this, Alexa called that. I didn't have any conference calls, so I didn't use that feature, but imagine a scenario by which you would do exactly that. So, introduce, I said, the voice solution, and I will, I will paraphrase, I'm not going to use the exact same words, today are having a hard time in the vehicle. And how many of you actually do enjoy current voice solution in your existing car? Uh, uh, yeah, they, they don't work. They don't work. Exactly. So you don't enjoy it because it's really, really hard. And I have existing voice solution. I worked in the automotive industry before, and, and it's, it's a hard problem to solve. And so the reason I joined this team and I wanted to build something here is because it's really difficult to get a voice working in a vehicle, but I think that's a future. I think that uh, what J.D. Power research tells us is the number one issue inside the vehicle for car manufacturer is, manufacturers uh, is a Bluetooth connectivity and a voice. And it's, it, it's having a, a, a profound impact on total in-cabin experience. And I think we can, we can solve that. December 4th, we're doing a little webinar, webinar, and I encourage all of you to join and listen. Uh, we, we've done a little study with uh, J.D. Powers uh, to, to do a little research around 
uh, what's happening in a cabin and what's happening at home in the voice solutions. And so this research points out that folks actually do want to have a working solution in the car. They, they, they want to have immersive voice forward but backed by visual experience. And the current solutions are not closing that gap. So um, a little plug on that event, you'll, you'll learn a little bit more to what the research shows. So what people do in a car, they want to be productive. I mentioned conference call, I mentioned calls. They also want to um, be entertained. In our current implementation, in our research, uh, we see close to 50% of the time people spend in a vehicle or uh, while they move on the go, while they're commuting, on entertaining themselves or consuming some sort of information. And that's consistent today. People spend a lot of time on the radio. But when we have Alexa in a vehicle, uh, we also see they spend a lot of time on listening to music, listening to podcasts, to books, uh, news, things like that. So they want to be entertained. And we don't, when we think about mobility, we don't think about just mobility in a car. Uh, we also think about you on the go and you using all kinds of different uh, transportation uh, methods. And so wouldn't it be great if Alexa is actually with you while you're waiting uh, for the bus or the tram or the station or you're trying to get a scooter, all that things. And if you can find a location for that scooter. So um, we also been in a situation for us that have kids uh, in a situation where uh, the kids are crying in the back, or they're asking uh, how much longer to get there, or uh, you just want to have a you know, quiet experience inside a cabin, it wouldn't be great if you can just say, you know, Alexa, play video in the backseat entertainment, and play some white noise on the front of the cabin. And so I'll tell you about what we work with Furish and a couple other uh, tier one partners to enable those kind of those uh, scenarios. We want Alexa to be more seamless to follow up. So for example, if you're in a car and you're driving, you say, uh, I want to get to um, Staples Center, uh, or what's the Staples Center address? The very natural thing that Alexa needs to do is to assume that you're actually driving or getting there and should have a follow up to say, well, uh, here's the address, and would you like me to give you directions there? And, uh, or you're asking for Joe's coffee number, the not very natural thing for Alexa would be, or a system, any system would be to say, well, here's a number would you like me to call? And those are the features that we just launched um, uh, on, Alexa, on Alexa's system. Inside a car, it's very important uh, for a voice system to be contextually aware and to understand what's happening with the vehicle. So for example, uh, today, um, you may be running out of gas, and some premium vehicles actually do a pretty good job in sort of prompting visually that you're running out of gas, and here's a couple of stations that you want to go and refuel, or running out of juice on a battery, you might want to stop by and, and get some more juice. Well, the voice system should also do that really well. So we're working with automakers to understand the context and understand the situation of the vehicle, and maybe schedule your next appointment and call dealer directly to, uh, to find that uh, appropriate um, uh, service uh, bay and the location uh, for the vehicle to be maintained. Um, Midwest got snowed in last week. And uh, wouldn't it be great if you can just sit in your home and say, Alexa, defrost my car, start my car, warm up my car, and defrost. And in, indeed, in some, some of these situations that certain vehicles, and there's a lot of manufacturers that actually do exactly that today, and we're making that uh, even easier. This is quite interesting what we've seen out there. Uh, we started this Alexa on the go, Alexa Automotive uh, work uh, about a year ago. But before that, and why we started, the demand for a better in-car voice system has been tremendous. Uh, we just sort of searched the internet um, uh, to sort of see what people are doing uh, with Echo devices, Echo, Echo Dot devices. And 
you're going to see all kind of creative things. These are just some examples that uh, people out there has been sort of uh, trying to get better voice system inside the vehicle. And some, uh, if you go and search, and you're going to find some even more interesting, creative things, putting a Echo Dot, which is you know, quite not a good thing to do, uh, right behind the steering wheel, things like that. But demand has been, has been tremendous to do that. So we said, well, if there's such a good demand that we really want to be customer obsessed, we want to create a better experience, how do we do that? And uh, the the best way to do that is actually to have a Alexa fully embedded in a vehicle system. So she is always present. She listens when you uh, summon uh, the Alexa. And she can do all the things we talked about. Uh, but uh, as you know, in the automotive industry, it takes forever to do something. It takes two or three years. So, uh, and that demand is now. So how do we do that? How do we give the customers Alexa in a car? Um, uh, knowing that we will not be able to embed Alexa in the vehicles next two to three years because that's just simply life cycle of um, uh, vehicle design. Uh, so for those scenarios, we said we're, we're going to create an SDK that our partners can use then to um, create aftermarket devices. Uh, and we will also enable mobile solution so that our partners can uh, uh, enable uh, Alexa through a mobile inside the vehicle. So um, today on the market, there's over a billion cars uh, around the world. And it's about 80 million cars that get manufactured every year. Um, for those, out of those billion vehicles, there's a close to 300 cars that can essentially take aftermarket device. So we partnered with a number of partners out there uh, to build a third party accessory uh, devices. So you have an anchor, speak music, and a Garmin who's built some very interesting devices. And by January of this year, or next year, uh, you're going to see more than 10 of accessory type devices that people bring uh, with them, and they bring Alexa uh, inside the vehicle. Uh, so we're very, very happy about, about the progress that our partners have made on that. Due to demand, um, we also created our own uh, aftermarket device. So Amazon uh, created the um, uh, Echo Auto uh, aftermarket device. We announced that a few months ago. Uh, right now, it's available for pre-order. Um, that essentially is an eight mic array device uh, that uh, once when, when it's paired with the um, AV system inside a vehicle, uh, it gives you all the Alexa functions. Uh, but we also turned some interesting features uh, for both our own Echo Auto device and our partners that make things like uh, uh, navigation and uh, point of interest and all those things they actually do need in a vehicle, communication, uh, uh, work uh, quite seamlessly uh, inside the vehicle. Um, but the North Star, as I mentioned, really is having the uh, embedded experience. Uh, that's when things light up. Uh, that's where um, you can simply talk to uh, a vehicle, and you can make a phone call. So you can get directives to navigation. You can ultimately do shopping if you really want to do that, uh, get stuff on a shopping list and so forth uh, in, in a way that's natural, in a way that you talk to uh, voice systems at home. Uh, and so we, uh, recently, we announced uh, with the Audi uh, uh, that kind of system. So new Audi e-tron system has um, Alexa embedded in it. And uh, this is one of the, 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 if you will, the North Star implementation of uh, full uh, uh, voice system uh, in the vehicle. In addition to um, Audi, we have uh, recently also announced Ford, Lexus, Toyota, uh, BMW, Seat, uh, Lincoln, uh, Byton is uh, down. You, I see their signs. They're not here on this slide because they haven't been selling vehicles in North America or, or the markets where we exist. But they're a very, very strong partner. We're partnering with them um, as well uh, as they come and bring vehicles to, uh, to North America. Uh, those vehicles would be uh, fully um, Alexa-enabled vehicles. In addition to, uh, and so, so next couple of probably months, six months, you're going to see other automakers as well um, 
uh, announce their uh, new next generation voice system uh, based on Alexa. In addition to um, the automakers that build voice systems uh, inside, um, we also have auto all the same automakers and more that have built the skills or um, ability to control the vehicles remotely from your home. So a scenario that I just mentioned uh, in Midwest, they got snowed in and they would like to get a vehicle uh, started and uh, windows defrosted. Um, there is a lot of vehicles out there that have those functionality. You can say, just say Le uh, Lexus uh, or Alexa, uh, tell my Lexus to defrost the windows, and, and, and it does that. So um, tons of tons of automakers that are working, and we're making that actually much easier in the next generation that we plan to launch here in the next couple of months uh, in terms of enabling those, those kind of uh, functions. So it's always day one at Amazon, and uh, I joined Amazon a year and a half ago, and I learned that Every day is a day one, and this is just a beginning. Um, what we uh, plan to do, or what we do in, uh, with Alexa in, in the mobility space, and I encourage you to follow uh, Alexa Auto and to learn more uh, uh, about what we're planning to do. And we have uh, uh, CS, some interesting announcement with CS, and I look forward to. Uh, see some of you uh, at that event as well. So with that, thank you. Um, enjoy your rest of the evening. Um